so it's me your little boy is i'm saying <laughs> listen they are scared of your word of your anointing it get them upset <laughs> listen a lot of people are upset because of your anointing they know that there's something you carry and that really upset them that really disturbed them because there's something in you that is too big to be destroyed there's something in you that if they tried on me to destroy you it will destroy them if they tried on me to frustrate you the thing will really what will truly frustrate them so there is something in you that scared your enemy truly there's something deep inside you that make them to be afraid. Listen, if you read the book of Acts, Acts 23 verse 12, you come to understand what Bible declared that 40 men gang up themselves. 40 men decide to come together, decide to set an ambush. They said, we are not going to do what eat nor drink until we do what we keep poor, until we destroy poor. Imagine 40 men coming together just to kill one person just to frustrate one person just to destroy one person how do you think so 40 men can go up their self they surround yourself they made up their mind just to do what to kill only one person and paul was so what was so <laughs> so powerful so anointed think about it two people only two people can do what can kill a man, not a place of 40 men. And they were so afraid, so scared of what of what Paul carried. Because it was not Paul that was carrying them. It was the anointing in Paul that was scaring them. Yes, I know that Paul was a great warrior, but that does not mean no matter how how strong you may be, without the anointing of God, you can't even fight two men the bible did not narrate that these are men this what these are like children or youth the bible declared them as what 40 men <laughs> 40 men simply means that these are not what youth these are not teenagers these are men they said they, they come together and said they will never eat until they keep poor listen there are a lot of people who are standing who have made a decree that they will never do nothing they will never sleep until they kill you until they destroy you sabotage your blessing but the fact truth is this they are scared of your mother listen the, the bible if you read the book of r 23 verse 12 you can understand after they have got that together they still went back and said to the water the chief priest we are not going to eat we have taken an oath that we are not going to eat until we keep poor that means they have been looking for ways they have been trying so many times to keep him and now they decide to take an oath so that no one will do what we do what we betray them they have been tried all means to keep poor so listen my brothers and sisters the truth is this they are automatically what upset because you are unkillable imagine 40 men trying to kill one person that means there's something that they are scared of there's something that they are what they are deeply scared if you are a choosy and you are still afraid of what m men will do to you what woman will be do to you you need to wake up because the bible says even if we eat deadly things it will not hurt us even if we march upon snake and scorpion it will not hurt us he said who is that that speak and he come to the life of the choosing when he have not yet commanded he said i am the lord your protector is there anything too hard for me to do that is question he said is there anything anything too hard for me to do it's not asking you just name one thing that you are facing that is what is impossible for him himself to do so what am i trying to tell you is this they are scared of your anointing many people are intimidated by the anointing you carry because whenever you step in you scare them you scare them Forget the fact that many of them are pretending. Forget about the fact that whenever they see you, they ask, ask you, we love you. But forget about that. Many of them are not communicating. Spiritually, they are scared. Physically, they are scared. They don't know the type of person you are. Physically, you are arrogant. According to my papa, Apostle John C. Sullivan, he says, Spir spiritually, you are arrogant. Physically, you are arrogant. When it comes to prayer, you are a machine. And they don't know how to handle you because it's not every machine and anyone can handle it's not anything every machine you can just wake up and say i want to handle this machine 
it may do what <laughs> it may destroy some part of your bone so what am i trying to say listen they are scared of your what of your anointing your anointing get them upset a lot of people are what are scared of your anointing because the more they try to destroy you the more they gang up against you the more they destroy everything about it. they said to to the chief priest they have already took the oath. They have already taken all the oath. Take everything. They come back to the two priests and said, we have taken the oath. Why do, why do you think that they come back to the two priests? Because they are afraid to meet the man. You take the oath. You ought to go direct and kill him. <laughs> and the Bible said, they went back to the chief priest and said, we have taken the oath. We are sure that we will not eat nor you eat until we keep poor. That means they have been what? They have been working without food. They have been trying to keep poor. But there's something in Paul that is what that makes him unkillable. So my brothers and sisters, a lot of people have been trying to frustrate you. A lot of people have been trying to destroy you. Spiritually, they have been tried. Physically, they have been tried. But all they do, they fail. <laughs> that is why Jesus said to us, he said, even if they, they, they betray you, they do, not even your hair will be destroyed. This accurately frustrates a lot of people. This accurately destroyed a lot of people because they can't destroy you. They can't frustrate you. They can't harm you. You are too big to be destroyed. And this really frustrates them. You are too big to be destroyed. And that really annoyed them. <laughs> You see the way Italian people do used to behave like children. <laughs> That's why whenever I just see them, I would just be laughing. Because some would just be acting like what? <laughs> like Judas is carrot. <laughs> so what am I trying to say is this? They are what they, they are scared. Your anointing upset them. Whenever you pass, they know that something can kill, something that can kill is going on. That's why that's why God said to Moses, place the blood of what animal. What does that blood represent? It represents the blood of Christ on the cross. The blood that rushed from his vein, that rushed from his what flesh. That is what they place in the front door because there's something, oh God, there's something you carry as a choosing. When they, when they call your name, <laughs> The fourth man appear. That's why some people, you know, there was a day I was sleeping. Then there's something that they do used to drop in my camp. And then when I was in Nigeria, then I show my mom, I tell my mom, I don't know this. Then I was, I was asked water president, water president in my place. Then I tell my mom, I don't know the meaning of this. It's just like a, what, a flesh of animal. Then I take a Bible in the night. I need that after showing my mom. And my mom went back. My mom knows, she, she don't know the meaning. Then I drop my, one of my small what Bible, New Testament, all those small ones. I drop, I open it and I put it on the ground and I pray. I say, Father, expose them. In the night, in the night, I was sleeping around five o'clock, around four thirty, about five o'clock. In the night, I see a bear flying directly to the same place. The moment he stepped in, I was with sword in the night. Then, the moment he tried to turn to a, a person which I know, I pursued him. The moment he just landed, he turned to a person which I know physically. The moment I used sword to follow them around, in the next morning I see the same person. The person was looking at me. I was telling him, <laughs> "Have that journey like yesterday." I hope everywhere is clear. He was just looking at me. I was telling him, "Brother, how how that journey? I hope everything is clear now. I I I hope you sleep well yesterday." He was shocked of words. When when I reached home, I tell my mom what happened. My mommy said, "We know them by their fruit." <laughs> So what am I trying to say is this. A lot of people are scared of your anointing. It doesn't matter where you come from. That is why the Bible says, Great I see that is in me, that he that is in the world. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities and power. He said, No weapon that form against us shall prosper, but every tongue that rises up in judgment, they shall all condemn. We know where we come from. <laughs> it doesn't matter what people may call us. It doesn't matter what they may say. But the Bible said, I know who I am. <laughs> I am from whom I am. I am not from whom they think that I am. That is why they are scared of your anointing. They know that the, 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 what the anointing you carry can destroy anything. You know, that's why I title one of my message. Your power as a choosing can shift and destroy anything. Remember, blessed.